Yo 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 guys, it's your boy Mohammed back again with another video and what we're gonna be doing today is another reaction video and today is actually a special one, I'm not gonna lie, I like, I like this topic a lot but before I tell you what it is, I just wanna say the three most viewed videos on my channel have been reaction videos so according to the basic laws of, of, of the world and stuff whatever's working, keep doing it so that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna keep banging our reaction videos and stuff so if this turns into more reacts then just mind your business what we're going to be reacting to you today is how the bro i can't even see this how the universe is way bigger than we think okay before i start i just have a bit of stuff to say first things first is i know i'm looking rough head. i know i'm looking rough so you guys don't have to say anything in the comment section about that number two check out my clover line it's going to be in the description below it's going to launch soon I'm not too sure how, like when I'm launching and stuff, but it's gonna launch soon. Keep updated on that. Like I said, it's gonna be in the description below. And finally, you guys already know the drill. I don't have to keep saying it every single video, but like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Is Earth. You live here on this planet somewhere, and everything that you've ever known is located right here. But just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic neighbor, the moon. I'm not gonna lie. When people actually talk about the Earth and stuff, first of all, if you believe the Earth is flat, then you're just stupid. Like, you're just dumb if you believe the Earth is flat. But when you actually deep it, there's literally one planet, Earth, and all we can really see is the moon and the sun. I don't know if we can really see anything else. And you're telling me there's only humans on the on the on like the whole universe. I, I don't believe that. I know there's aliens or something out there. Flying sharks. You may think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies, but in reality, the moon isn't this close to our planet. It's actually about this far away, 384,400 kilometers away from you Whoa. right now on average. You could fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance, and if you somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days to drive the entire distance. That's slow though. He's gonna be drive. That's that's like getting, That's like having an M way from Earth to Moon. Who's gonna drive sixty miles per hour? You're gonna be going like two hundred miles per hour, unless you got a white car. Then it's long fee. But anyway, I know some cars actually have like a mileage of two hundred and forty thousand miles on it. So if you have a car like that, I think it's time to switch cars. Despite this incredible distance, however, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the humans. furthest away that any individual human has ever That's been. That's a lot more than I thought, I'm not gonna lie. And one of humanity's greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with them. And if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and them, since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. This is a photo that was. What? I'm confused. What does that even mean? Is that, is that good or is that bad? Like, how are they sending a message? Between you and is that free Wi-Fi or something? If it's free Wi-Fi, that's pretty quick because my internet's worse than that. But anyway, if they mean by Wi-Fi, that's, that's not too bad, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, why, why, why can you only see half the Earth? I wanna know that. Why can you only see half of the Earth from Since what, that's from how fast there? the speed of light can travel at. This is a photo that was taken on Mars, Actually, I mean, no. and that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. On average, Mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away I wanna go to Earth, Mars. But that distance Elon can't Musk, be you better, as high you get cracking on the line. I'm trying to go to Mars. That means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. Elon In addition, Musk, the get to work, delay man. for sending a message from Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds, it's actually more like 20 minutes each direction which would render instant communication in the event of an emergency impossible. When we zoom mm, out even further tough, away, tough, we can tough. find the Voyager 1 space probe, which is the furthest away man-made object from Earth. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth, AU meaning astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which means what? that Voyager 1 is 138 times further away from us than the Sun is. At some point on its long voyage, Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. 
It may not look like much at first, but in my opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. This tiny, pale blue dot is Earth, and I don't- Well, that is crazy, what the hell? But, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I thought Earth is one of those other dots. Is there even another dot? I can't really see anything. But if, it, if that's 138 times the distance from Earth to Sun, that is crazy, like, I don't know what type of camera they're using, but I might need to get it for my YouTube channel and stuff, so, NASA hit me up, if you might not trying to give me a free camera or something, and whatever, but yeah, that is crazy, I thought, I thought it's going to be a lot smaller than that, if, uh, because of the distance and stuff, but, don't think what that it is. anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, if you look at it, you see a dot, that's here, that's home, that's us, on it, Everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. The aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every oh, hunter wonder. and every forager. Every hero and coward. Every creator and destroyer of civilizations. Every king and every peasant. Every young couple in love. Every hopeful child. Every mother and every father every inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there that is crazy on a to boat think of about. dust suspended in a sunbeam. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 yeah, years. Yeah, I see. What the hell is going on? Wait, hold on, what? Oh, okay, okay. I thought that was a whole Milky Way, whatever it's called. But why is it called a Oot Cloud? You know, all the space terminology and stuff, I don't know any of it. Once we go About beyond 30, the solar system, years. we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. What the, the star hell, of man? Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. To put that into perspective, that if it was crazy. heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other words, if you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over six times longer than the entire age of the universe is just to finally get there, and it wouldn't even exist until when you arrived. When we zoom- So what is the age of the universe? There's a lot of stuff this guy's not talking about that I want to know. Like, stop leaving me suspense. What's this guy doing? What is the age of the universe? What, like, 10 bit? Nah, not 10 billion. It's probably a lot more than that, to be honest. Zoom out even further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy That's what I was inside talking about, of which the Earth Way. is located right here. This yellow dot is the furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire- Oh. I just realized what he meant. Hold up. It's complete silence outside of the range are totally throughout history. So that's not that's not Earth. That's just like a little radius around Earth, like around where we are. That we've made contact, whatever, whatever you say, radio signals. So if that's the case, how the hell do we know that what what um what the Milky Way looks like? How do we even know everything else around it exists? That is crazy. Which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware no, of No, no, there's aliens, presence. I know we exist. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. There are over 100 that's not, that's not billion much, stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. That looks but you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right that's here. That's man. I want to see exactly in the middle. Whatever's in the middle, I just want to see that. 
That looks so crazy. I'm trying to see everything Massive in there. galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further and we arrive at the local group of galaxies, a collection of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. But zooming out even That's further and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which the local group here is just a tiny segment of. There are at least 100 other groups of galaxies just like our own local group inside of here, and the distance from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. So but even stupid. the massive Virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. The distance from one side to the other is 520 million light years, but from even there we can zoom out all the way to the entire observable universe and see that even the titanic Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, man. There's no way, you know. Wait, wait, wait. So, so which ones? I'm so confused now. I'm not gonna know. So, where, where's the Milky Way in all of this? Or oh, is that the Milky Way? The really, really small one. Was, was that the Milky Way? I'm so confused. This is the observable universe, and it contains everything that we know of. Oh, okay. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies. Okay, that makes sense. That is so stupid. What the hell? There's no way. There's actually no way. It's like, like how do we even know this? This why this why I don't get like there's all these facts going like facts facts are supposed to be true, and there's all these facts going around and stuff of what's in the sea, this and that, what's in the galaxy, what's out there in the sky, the space, whatever you want to call it. But how do we even know that if they're literally t saying that um, our little signals or whatever they are have only been however far? I don't know. I'm just mind blown. I'm not gonna lie. This is all. This is all like stars, and there are grains of sand on the entire Earth. And people for a little explosion made all of this. Any side of the observable Steve. universe is 46.5 billion light years, which means that the entire width is 93 billion. That's the type light of numbers I'm trying to see in my credit card. I'm What's not gonna lie to you guys. interesting, however, is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever- So you're telling me that's not the end? I thought- I thought that's- I'm actually flipping mind blown, like I don't know what to say. What is going on? Ever imagine. We simply don't know what else is out there because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth. And the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding no, away from us faster than the speed of light, that means that the light from these places will never... <laughs> it's a very not to scale. That is funny. So... According to this, Earth should literally be just be a speck of dust. Like compared to this little circle, Earth is literally supposed to be nothing. And I don't know what the hell that yellow thing is, but I'm just mind blown right now. I'm not gonna lie. Infinite amount of time reach Earth. This stuff scares me. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. According to the theory of cosmic yeah, inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that the... The Big Bang is not real, man. What, you, what even is the Big Bang like? How, how are you telling me a bang? Caused every single thing this guy just talked about in the video. That's the impossible. The size of the man. universe before inflation began so was lying. equal to its age times the speed of light. Then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable universe. That number what for reference that? looks like this, with this many zeros. Let this number sink in for just a moment. How many zeros did you say? I had to back out the pen, I'm not gonna lie, I had to back out the pen to count this. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So 150 followed by 21 zeros. I've never seen that number in my life. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, Bro, six, everything that you could see was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality, the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. Imagine a light bulb in the center of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it. And that's a similar situation to this. I swear Pluto is the smallest. Is Pluto not a planet anymore? Or is that another one? I don't know. I'm, I'm actually so confused after this video. We are all so unbelievably small, but you shouldn't worry because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover. I'm gonna together. be dead before that. I'm not gonna lie to you. This Wait. video was made. Shush! Don't don't do that. Try to get what's it called? See you see that right there? I'm gonna put my my clothing that thing on top of it. But anyway, okay, that was a crazy video. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That was probably one of the craziest videos I've ever reacted to. It's just left me more confused than, I, than when I went into the video in the first place. Before watching this video, I didn't even know it was that big. After watching the video, I'm more confused than before watching the video, if that makes sense. That is so stupid to think about. What the hell? And here I was scared of the ocean when there's literally that. Like, I don't even know what to call that, but there's that out there in space. So Elon Musk, listen to me, get back to you. You better get to work. Start doing whatever you're doing, because I'm I'm trying to explore space before I get end up. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, that was an interesting video. I'm not gonna lie. That just left him with so many questions that he didn't answer for some reason. Like I said, I'm I'm just mind blown. I, I literally don't know what to say. I've never ever been this mind blown in my life. Now, I'll see a number, sextillion, what the hell is that? What's a sextillion? Just stop, man. And by the way, there's another video called... It's just the universe size comparison. So they're comparing the universe and whatever. I'm going to watch that. I'm going to react to that as well. So if you guys want to see that, like the video, comment it down below. And yeah, before we go, like I said in the beginning, check out my clothing line. It's going to be in the description below. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one.